Whoa! It's a rainbow! And it's so beautiful! Oh! Hope you're fine, little kitty! I think you are dreaming about rainbows! Well, we all do! Hey friends! I know we are all fascinated by the seven colors shimmering in the sky and dream of being on it, playing, sliding and jumping. But unfortunately, it's always beyond our reach. But one thing is within our reach and that is to create our own rainbow with the help of a prism. And what is a prism? So today, let's learn about this interesting object we call Prism and how it can make our dreams of touching the rainbow come true. Zoom in! So friends, what is a P-R-I-S-M Prism? Well, a prism is defined as a three-dimensional object with identical parallel ends and has flat surfaces. I know it sounds confusing, so let's make it easier to understand with the magic of animation. Just have a look at this three-dimensional object or figure. As you can see, the object has two triangular ends. Let us color it blue. And it has three rectangular faces, one in the front, one at the back, and one at the bottom. Now, let's look at the definition again. As you can see, they are identical as both are triangles and are parallel to each other. Also, it has three flat surfaces as mentioned in the definition. So, as this object fulfills all the criteria of our definition, we can officially declare it as a prism. Just like this triangular prism, we have various types of prism, such as rectangular prism, quadrangular prism, regular prism, etc. Just remember, an object can only be defined as a prism when they meet all the essential criteria stated in the definition. That is, identical and parallel ends and has flat surfaces. For example, let's take a pipe. As you can see, both the ends are identical circles and are parallel to each other. But it has a curved surface instead of a flat one. So, it is not a prism. Here is another object. First, let's look at the ends. Both are a triangle that looks identical. But if you look closely, they aren't parallel as one of the triangles is slanted. Hence, this again, my friends, is not a prism. I know, I know. You guys must be wondering, what does this have to do with the rainbows? Well, if you take a prism and pass a beam of light through it, it breaks the white beam into several beams of light, thus creating a magnificent rainbow! To know more about how the rainbow is created, just click the link mentioned in the description below. We have already made a video on that topic for you. Trivia time! Did you know a prism can bend light? The light bends or refracts because it moves slower in the glass, crystal or plastic than it does in air. This splits the light into lots of different colors called a spectrum. This spectrum has the same colors as a rainbow does. Also, rainbows are made by bending light as they happen when the light is bent by tiny drops of water floating in the air. If the light doesn't come out when you shine it into the prism, it is called Internal Reflection It's question time! Today's question is What do you call splitting of light into different colors? Do write in your answer in the comment section below 
and hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't yet to be a part of the Peekaboo family and get a chance to get it featured by the end of our videos. So, here are the winners of the previous episode. Hope you enjoyed today's episode and until next time, it's me Dr. Binox zooming out. Huh, never mind. Hey kids, you liked my videos, didn't you? Before you go, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell so you won't miss out on my latest videos. <laughs> See you!